Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In this new video that I'm uh, posting on my uh, YouTube channel, I would like to speak about a very important feature that Microtech has provided on the Router OS version 7, which is Let's Encrypt. So Let's Encrypt is a certificate authority which provides for us valid certificates that we can use it in our Microtech Router OS. So think is like if you want to, for example, connect to the Microtech Router OS via www.ssl, which is HTTPS, or maybe if you want uh, for uh, the hotspot that you use SSL uh, certificate, or many other places where you need to use the uh, certificate, then uh, in this case, you can use uh, Let's Encrypt. Again, Let's Encrypt is a feature on the Router OS version 7. That means that you need to upgrade your Microtech router to the Router OS version 7. So let's go now directly and uh, let me give you some explanation about what is Let's Encrypt, where can we use it, and then let's apply that on a lab to see how this can be configured on the Microtech Router OS version 7. So here I am on the website of uh, Let's Encrypt. As you can see, Let's Encrypt is a non-profit certificate authority. So it's an CA providing TLS certificate and up to now is giving up to 260 million websites. So you know every website, when you open a website, then you can see something like uh, this uh, lock uh, that is shown over here. That means that this website is using SSL to be able to encrypt the uh, the traffic that uh, you are sending to the website and you are getting to from the website, which is the HTTPS. Now, to be able to have a certificate on the website, then you need to get a certificate from a certificate authority, a commercial one. That means you have, you have to pay money to be able to get this certificate, and this certificate needs to be renewed every year. So what uh, Let's Encrypt has done is that it can provide for you the certificate, but that's free of charge. Then you can use it, and in our case, we are going to use it on the Microtech Router OS and not on our website, because our goal is to see how we can issue the uh, certificate uh, from Let's in uh, Encrypt from the Router OS and where we can use it. All right, so again, what is the certificate? If you don't know, certificate is something like you have to think it's like your ID or your passport or your driving license. Say that you are stopped on a checkpoint and you have to say, who are you? Then you have to provide something like an ID or you have to give your driving license or your passport. Then the police can see and they can say, oh, that is you, then you are allowed to pass. Same thing. The uh, certificate authority, you have to think, is like the uh, uh, police or the government. And uh, the certificate is like the ID that you can use to show that uh, you are a uh, uh, having a uh, valid certificate so the traffic can pass. So here, just to show you some of the examples of which companies are using the Let's uh, Encrypt. You can see uh, we have here Cisco, AWS, Chrome, you have a bunch of uh, many companies over here. I have tried to find out if Microtech is showing up, but I couldn't find it showing up over here. But Microtech, they have added Let's Encrypt on their Router OS version 7. So that's the reason why I have decided to make a video to show you how you can configure Let's Encrypt. So let's go directly and see what is needed now to be able to do the configuration for Let's Encrypt on the Microtech Router OS version 7. So here I am on the Microtech Router OS version 7. As you can see, first thing we need to do is to have the version 7. You see here version 7.2.3. So one, you need to have the version 7 on your Microtech Router OS. That means if you are using the version 6, please upgrade your Router OS to version 7 if you want to use Let's Encrypt. The second thing that you need to do is to have a public IP on your Microtech Router OS because the Router OS one, we want to issue the certificate from Let's Encrypt. It has to communicate with the server of Let's Encrypt and the server has to give the certificate to the router. So if you don't have the uh, public IP address, this communication cannot happen. If you have a public IP address on a router which is behind your Microtech Router, then what you can do, you can do some type of port forwarding. So the communication between your Microtech Router OS and the uh, Let's Encrypt server can happen. In my case, I have already asked for a friend of mine because I don't have a public IP on my router, which is for the lab. So a friend of mine has given me possibility for having a public IP address uh, using the VPN. Of course, I have made the VPN to him. And then I have now a public IP address, which you can see it over here. So this is my public IP address. 
and it's on L2TP, but that's fine. I do have a public IP address, so that means the version 7 is there, the public IP address is there, and the last thing that we have to have to uh, make the Let's Encrypt to work is to have a domain name. And uh, if you have your own domain name, that's fine, but if you want to issue a domain name on the MicroTik uh, router, that's uh, very easy. You just have to go to IP, you go to Cloud, and over here you say DDNS enable and then apply and then you can see that this is the domain name shown, shown up for you over here. So that's all you need to do. So again, router as version 7, public IP address and domain name. So now I have met all the conditions to be able to have the uh, uh, configuration for Let's Encrypt on the router OS. Now let's see how we can configure it. So now we need to issue the certificate from Let's Encrypt. Now. Let's Encrypt, we said that it's already a feature on the router OS. You need to use the terminal. So we have to go to the terminal here. So this needs to be done from the command line. Your router should be connected to the internet, of course. It's now connected to the internet, my router. And to issue the certificate from Let's Encrypt, all I need to do is to say here, certificate, enable SSL certificate, and then DNS name. And I copy this DNS name that I made it on IP Cloud, this one and I have to put it here. So I have already copied it and then paste. So again, certificate, enable SSL, certificate, DNS, and then you just put the DNS name and then you make enter. Now what's gonna happen here on the background, the router OS is communicating now with the, the uh, Let's Encrypt server. And here we go, it's uh, now signing the re SSL request. You can see generating SSL certificate, signing uh, request. You just wait for it, don't uh, press on Q until this is finished. And here we go. Progress, success, SSL certificate updated. That's it. Now, if we go to the system certificates, we can see now that this certificate has been shown up. And you can see that it has a validation for 89 days. So that means you have 90 days for the Let's Encrypt certificate to be valid. Now, someone can say, but what after the 90 days, what's gonna happen? Well, you can renew the same thing that we have done over here. You can do with MyNAD. If not, then what you can do, you can just uh, run a script on the scheduler and say every 90 days, then uh, you run the same comment that uh, you have uh, written here. So this happens automatically using the scheduler. Now, I missed uh, one uh, thing uh, before we had uh, to make the certificate, just to be sure that your uh, DNS is working. I have already done now the certificate, but that was a step that we had to do it before we do the certificate to check if the DNS is valid. So normally what you can do, you can go from here and make, for example, DNS checker. And on the DNS checker, uh, we go to dnschecker.org. So here you can just uh, put your DNS name that you have made it on the MicroTik router and make search. And here we can see that it has uh, resolved the DNS, so you can see it's showing up over here, the public IP address. That's uh, very good. So now, as the uh, SSL certificate is there, let's do an experiment somewhere where we can use it. So we can go to the IP services, and uh, we can use it inside the HTTPS. So if I want to log into the router, say, from the internet on the browser. So I will enable that one www.ssl and over here the certificate so i'm going to use less encrypt certificate very good so this is done now uh, what you can do also you can disable the www which is uh, the http now uh, let's check if i go let's go to the browser and let's put here the domain name and let's have a look so here we go you can see it is going now and showing for you this lock and it is now connection is secure so this connection is secure and the certificate is valid. Now, this is very good. So if I want to go to the MicroTik router from the browser, now my connection is uh, secure. And if you want, we can just uh, go to here and uh, search for SSL checker. So we can see the uh, the uh, SSL, is, uh, if it's valid, the certificate. I just put the domain name and then check SSL. And uh, let's wait for it until it communicates with the router. And here we go. You see, so it's saying to you here, the certificate was issued by Let's Encrypt and the certificate will expire in 89 days. Very good. So now this certificate, if you want to use it wherever you want, it's like the commercial certificate, but you don't pay for it. But just be careful that it is for 90 days. So that's something you have to 
uh, be careful that uh, every 90 days you have to renew it. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this uh, video. Now we have now an idea what is the let's in, uh, encrypt and where we can use it. And we have uh, seen that uh, you can use it on the router as version seven and you have to have a domain name. You have to have a public IP address on your router and then you can issue this certificate and it works perfectly without any issue. And I have showed you also where to use it. I showed you only on one example to use it with the www SSL. So I hope that uh, this uh, lecture was informative for you. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put a, a like on this video and share it. And don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you in some other videos.